Hi everyone, I just wanted to start by saying thanks very much for visiting my channel. And if you're liking the content that you're watching, please definitely like, subscribe or comment. So today I wanted to experiment with layering up cups differently. Whenever I run in-person workshops, I always recommend that people layer up their cups like this or like this. And they always ask me, well, what's the difference? You know, what sort of results is it going to give me? And I honestly couldn't answer. So I thought, well, what a great experiment for us to do together. And definitely stick around till the end because I do have a surprise for you. But otherwise, let's get started and, and yeah, see what results we get. So these are the four colors that we're going to be working with today. It's like a, this is a shell color, a warm blue, a, a metallic, copper metallic and a co cobalt blue. Uh, I have played with the consistency, so in every cup there's 10 grams of paint, but then I have varied the pouring medium, and the pouring medium I'm using today, today is um, Floetrol. So this is 20 grams, 30 grams, 40 grams, 50 grams, because I basically wanted to play with the consistencies, because uh, then that we're, that's also going to help us to see if we get cells. And I'm going to be layering into this cup, and I'm basically going to be doing it where we just do the cream, the the warm blue, the copper, and then the cobalt blue. So as you can see, I've got my cup and I'm basically just going to layer in my colors, like I said, um, one at a time. Just wanting to make you sure you can actually see what I'm doing while I'm doing this. Without making too much of a mess. I probably will speed up this bit for you. So now we're basically going to pour it. I'm just going to flip the cup over. Give it a little bit of time to drop through. I might bring it back a little bit more to the center because I don't want you know, sometimes when you lift up here, if you lift up there, you lose a lot of paint on the sides and I want to try and hold on to as much paint as I can. Yeah. I'm going to lift up so I can see a lot of blue. That's the first thing we can see. And what I am going to do, gosh, look inside that cup. Isn't the cup amazing? I just want to put some color around my edges first. Just before I start tilting. I always find getting to the corners is quite comp quite challenging. So, um, and I, you know, there's quite a lot of blue there. So I'm sort of, wondering if we're gonna need to do quite a bit of tipping to try and bring some of the other colors through i'm also going to torch it and for those who don't really know why you torch um what often paint gets air bubbles so when you torch it it, it enables you to sort of pop the air bubbles so i'm just using a blow torch and that you see how some of those colors are starting to come through in the center there I'm getting some of the cream coming through a little bit pin pricky but it's not too serious I mean it's lovely copper and cobalt blue so now it's time to do some moving of this paint around we've got a lot of paint on this canvas which is a good thing so I'm going to basically move it down so it sort of starts to attach to the bottom corner. I just don't want to lose too many of my cells. But you know, now we're going to go back up there. I'm 
move it off to the side there and then because we've got so much copper oh that's nice now we're starting to get some of that deep blue coming through the copper and i think that looks really lovely i've not much of the cream But some of that's starting to come through now. So I'm just torching because I want to bring through some of the other colors, there's it, it, quite a lot of air bubbles in this, so it's actually, um, and I've slightly burnt it there, damn, I didn't mean to do that, so I'm going to just, just push this off a little bit on the side here, which is kind of actually the bit I like the most, I like that big blue, just hope it travels okay. Yeah, I've lost it. Oh well, that's the nature of pouring. You never know what's going to happen. So there's the first one. So one of the things I did do with this, and you'll see it when we, I come in for a closer view, is I put the metallic. Um, the metallic is a semi, is a transparent. And I layered it over the blue, the deep blue, and you can actually see like the, the the color coming underneath, which is kind of what I actually wanted to happen. So I'm not unhappy with that. That looks really nice. So I wanted to bring you in for a close up just to show you the sort of cell formation. And like I say, that the, how the warm blue is sitting under the copper and you're getting that lovely shimmering over the warm blue, which is really quite pretty. I'm not, you know, not unhappy with that, with a lovely cobalt blue sort of breaking through. So it does look really nice. That's how you of it, the, of the whole painting. So because we're doing an experiment, I've got exactly the same colors mixed up again. The only difference now is we're going to be layering the cups, you know, the colors differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer this color first, then this color, then this color, then this color. And we're just going to go with that rotation. And I thought I would sort of do it this way so you can see what I'm doing as it goes into the cup. Making sure you can... So this, this is a lot thicker than the other colors. And the idea behind that is so that it will drop through. Okay, so I was gonna do that, then the copper. I wonder how that's gonna work with, because it's the, the colors are quite close, but we'll see. It's all an experiment. So I'm gonna put the copper in, then the deep blue, the warm blue, Then the cobalt, cobalt blue. So you can see these are actually quite a lot thinner than the, the coral. it's layered into the cup quite differently so the cup's actually looking really interesting so we're going to basically flip it now so I'm just going to put my canvas over the cup oops get hold of the cup and flip it around put it back on my little balancing cups and it's already moving just want to get it centered Yep, 
you can see already there's a huge difference wow massive difference i'm going to try and not lose too much of the paint so go around the edges big puddle soon so what i'm going to do now quickly wow look at all those cells i'm just going to go around the edges into my corners just making sure so what i have noticed is that i i have made the coral quite a thick consistency and it's probably not come out the cup as much as i would have liked but that wasn't what we were experimenting today with today we were experimenting with if we laid our cups up differently what sort of results did we get and i can think we can see already it's quite different what i'm going to do first is i'm going to just torch it just to see any air bubbles come through Take the flame too close because I've burnt the last one a little bit. And now I'm basically going to start moving the paint to the edges. See, I'm going to just take that. I'm going to help it to travel because I quite like the centerpiece. I'm going to help it to travel first before I start tipping. So I'm just wetting my canvas um, with paint because I know most of this I'm going to tip off. So that's, you know, I'm not too concerned about the ends because they're the ones that are going to go. Gosh, look at this. Quite so amazing, isn't it? So I'm just getting all of this into the sides. I know sort of just touching up my ends because these don't look nice on the on you know where I've attached the paint so I'm going to definitely have to tip some of that off so I thought I might bring you in closely or close up just before we start tilting but it is a very different result. Quite amazing. Now, if I tilt from that angle, will you be able to see what I'm doing? I don't like this corner I have here. I do luckily have a lot of paint on this canvas, so I just want to join up to the edges so it looks more natural. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I've got a lovely bit of dark blue the top there that I don't really want to lose. She think I might stop now. Because I just wanted to see some of that cream come through so that it worked on the sides and you know attach it in a way that looked like it was part of the place. I would say it does make a difference how you layer your cups. I, I can see that there's quite a bit of cream underneath this section here. That's why I'm just blow to blow, 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 blow. I just want to see if I can pull it up. I wanted to bring you in and show you the difference 
it really is actually quite quite different so you've got a lot more color coming through in this one you know and i think i suppose multicolored you know with the other one we didn't get as much cream so yeah i think it looks really good that's the top view so these have almost dried. Um, we're having very wet weather where I live at the moment. I live in Australia and yeah, we're just having incredible rainstorms. So it's taking a bit of a while to dry. So I thought I'd just show you the end results because it hasn't actually changed much since when we I poured them. So this was the one where we layered up just the one color on top of the other, you know, the four colors. This is the one where we alternated the colors. We, I think we did cream, copper, cobalt, and then warm blue. So we, you know, we, alternated the colors on this one then we just did a block of color on this one so i think for the purpose of this, this experiment it really shows that layering up your cups does make a big difference in you know how you layer up your cups can make a big difference to your pour and you know bringing you in closely like i'm I, i'm not unhappy with this i think it looks really quite nice to me it feels like um the ocean you know like a coral reef like up from above it's quite interesting and then this one is also completely different uh feels a little bit like you know the again the ocean from above what i have noticed though is there's two things i you know my table is supposed to be leveled but i have worked out that if i keep knocking the legs it changes the level and you can see that it has actually slipped off the sides here a little bit and also here is not so great it, it's sort of breaking up and I have noticed in the kind of wet weather that we get that sometimes you get fluctuance in your paintings when the paint sits on the painting for a while. But that's not so much the concern. I'm wanting this was more the experiment of, you know, what happens when you layer your cups up differently. And as you can see, there's actually really quite a big difference. So I did mention that I would have a surprise at the end of this video. And the surprise is that if you are interested in um, learning more about pouring, I actually have an e-course. It's titled Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Art for Beginners. It's available on Udemy. I will include the link below. And in that course, I basically cover everything that'll get you started. You know, how to set up your table, the kind of equipment that you need, how to get it, how to get cells, different consistencies, pouring mediums, silicon, pretty much all of it. It's quite a